When most people think about air travel, they picture large airports with long runways designed for big commercial aircraft. But there are many areas where it would be impossible for these large aircraft to navigate to. Distant areas with rough terrain like the Alaskan wilderness, the Bahamas, or the mountains in New Zealand often require the use of specialized aircraft to reach. One of these types of special aircraft is a seaplane. A seaplane is a powered fixed wing aircraft that can take off and land on water, and there's two types of seaplanes. The first type of seaplane is a float plane, and this is what people might typically think of when they think of seaplanes. The float plane has two long floats mounted underneath the fuselage that keeps the airplane floating above the water. The floats are located where landing gear would normally be found. The other type of seaplane is a flying boat. The fuselage of the aircraft acts like a boat, allowing the airplane to rest in the water, not above it. Some flying boats, called amphibious aircraft, have extra landing gear, allowing them to land or take off on the ground or water, depending on the need. Seaplanes have also been used to land on frozen lakes covered with ice. However, it is safer to attach skis to the landing gear before attempting to land on ice or snow. Seaplanes can theoretically land in any body of water, which is why they are often used for search and rescue. In good conditions, a small seaplane can land on a lake as small as 1,500 feet across, whereas commercial aircraft may require upwards of 6,000 feet or more. These short takeoff distances allow planes to get into secluded areas for supply runs and emergencies. Another airplane that's great for remote areas is the bush plane. Bush planes are easily recognizable by their two massive tires in the front of the plane and one smaller wheel on the tail. Bush planes can land in even more remote locations that do not have bodies of water, such as the Australian Outback or the African Savannah, since they have the ability to land on extremely short distances. Bush planes can take off and land with less than 1,000 feet of space and on almost any surface, including gravel, sand, and riverbanks. In fact, bush planes are used in competitions known as Short Takeoff and Landing, or STOL. Skilled pilots can land their aircraft in spaces under 20 feet, and the world record shortest landing is just 6 feet. While not what we commonly think of for airplanes, there are some areas where these planes are flown every day. So if you ever find yourself needing to get to remote areas or want a more scenic airplane ride, consider these airplane alternatives.